and welcome back in my reading corner. Thank you so much for joining me again for my August TBR. So my August TBR pretty much is revolving around the nudes. The nudes is a readathon and if you have been somewhat active on booktube you have heard about it. It is an amazing readathon. It's all month long. It is hosted by Book Roast and we are pretty much sitting our exams in the Harry Potter world. And this is like the second stage, the more well, it's more, I don't know, challenging stage. And boy, oh boy. Wanna see my challenge this month? This is my challenge. Oh my God, I can't even lift this. Well, I can't, I'm just doing it. But yeah, how do I? Ooh. And that's not all. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Cece and I do mostly bookish subscription box unboxings, hence the channel name, but I'm also part of the booktube community. I do my TBRs, my wrap ups and whatnot. And sometimes I unbox non bookish subscription boxes. So if you like these kind of things, keep on watching, check out my channel. And if you like what you see, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. My TBR is usually put on a, a wonderful page like this. I just like to do it old school here. Um, I usually divide it by my read-alongs, my like book clubs and whatever I want to read with a group in that month. Then I have my Nat Galley and then the readathon. This month I really have tried to get everything into the nudes because I want to try, I want to attend. I will most likely fail at <laughs> doing five nudes. So if you haven't seen the challenges yet, each topic, each like class you can you can sit your exam for, you can read up to three books and you would reach either an achieved, exceeds or outstanding. I think that's the marks you can get. So one book is achieved, two books is exceeds and then three books is outstanding. I hope I'm saying that right. All in all, that's already a lot of books. So I've tried to get everything in there. So at this point, I'm still missing the info about what the book explosion book of the month is going to be. And I will see if I can kind of work it in there, if I can exchange a book, because I usually do like to read what's on the book explosion list. Yeah, realistically, I'm not going to be able to read everything on my list. I'm going to have to cut some things out. All right, so let's go through the challenges and not through the typical order that I usually go through. So the first topic, the first class that I want to sit is charms. The first challenge within charms is read a book with magic in it. And for that I'm reading a Nat Galley arc then that is Olympian Challenger. So Olympian Challenger pretty much is about this girl Hope and I think this is the first in a tri uh, trilogy. Oh my god what's going on with me today? This is the first in a trilogy trilogy. Why can I not say trilogy? So this is the first in a trilogy and um, Hope is taking care of her mother who has dementia. She has to grow up pretty quickly until the day when she's magically transported to Mount Olympian or whatever and they're like with a lot of other people her age and they're being told that they're descendants from like the Greek gods and they have to compete in like this challenge and the winner, the hero will be granted one wish. She at first doesn't want to be a part of this and wants to get back to her mom until she understands that she can save her mom with like something going on there. And then, well, the story unfolds. So that's what I know so far. I find it quite intriguing. I think it could be fun and it definitely has magic in it somehow. So this I will be reading hopefully for charms. Challenge number two in charms is a book with a cover that I fell in love with and that is the Potion Diaries. I just love this cover. So po the Potion Diaries is about this girl. She mixes up this like love potion that she wants to give to her crush and she accidentally takes it herself and she falls in love with her own reflection. I think that sounds hilarious, could be so much fun. And then we're following like the other person Samantha and she is like in 
Um, she's an ordinary girl with an or extraordinary talent and by winning the hunt for the cure she could regain the reputation of the family. I think this could be truly hilarious and I just love the cover somehow. So I'm gonna read that. Definitely gonna read that. So the third challenge in charms is a book that leaves a mark and for this I'm going to be reading what is inside this beautiful box here for those of you who don't know yet because I have a serious editing backlog um, these come with like little gifts that have page numbers on them and you're only supposed to be opening these gifts when you hit the page number so I usually unbox these boxes with a vlog type and this month we'll be reading Wild Blue Wonder. I don't know much about this book, I just know that it's gonna leave a mark because the teaser about this was that this is a beautiful story that deals with remorse, perseverance, love and a sprinkle of magic. This novel captivates the kind of difficulties teens face when they lose the ones they love. This page-turning read features a young girl, her love of marine biology and her journey to overcoming her guilt when she loses her best friend. Rediscovering who she is without him blossoms into a powerful read filled with adventure and friendship. So I think from that like kind of teaser I think that this book will leave a mark. Next I want to sit the defense against the dark arts and the first challenge in that is to read a last book in a series and for that I am going to read War Storm. Um, I'm most likely going to be listening to that on audiobook because I already own this on audiobook and I have listened to the other ones and I loved it so I cannot wait for it. I couldn't fit it into my previous months because my last months were really bad reading months but I am so looking forward to reading War Storm and finishing up that series and it's going to be epic. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. The next challenge in Defense Against the Dark Arts is to read a book with a foil cover and I do believe that this counts and I will be reading this to catch up on the Shadowhunter Chronicles read along hosted by Emma Books. The third challenge in Defense Against the Dark Arts is a book with dark in the title and I know you can't see that it does have dark in the title but it is the And I Darken series so it counts, okay? It counts because I really want to read this. If you haven't heard about this series yet, this is the third in a trilogy and we are following the protagonist who is Lara, pretty much the female Vlad Dracul and we're following her, her from childhood throughout her journey to becoming this like powerful and feared whatever she's gonna be. She's not gonna be an empress. What what she what's she gonna be? Vlad Dracul, you know, she's gonna be Vlad Dracul. So we follow her and her brother Radu and some other people around and I cannot encourage you enough to read this. This has really surprised me. It has surprised me how much fun it is. It has surprised me about the writing style, everything. I just enjoyed it so much so I can't wait to finish up the trilogy with this one. And I think I'm going to read the second one in another challenge. So. Next I want to sit the Transfiguration and the first challenge is to read a book with a great cover. For that I want to read Empire of Storms as part of the Throne of Glass read-along hosted by Becca in the books. We want to get ready for the new release in I think it's October. So because of my bad reading months I really need to catch up to get to to get on track. That's it. To get on track. So yeah. Reading that. The next uh, challenge in Transfiguration is to read a new to you author and for that I'm reading a Nat Galley arc, The Ultimate Guide to Survival. The Ultimate Survival Guide for Girls. I don't know what the correct title is. I don't know why I want to read that but it sounded interesting somehow and I will tell you about it in my wrap up. I don't know what to expect. Let's see. The third challenge is I think with a kingdom or some royals or something in it and for this I have picked the Shadow Queen simply because this has been on my bookshelf for too long and I love the cover and I love everything. I don't know. I just want to read this so bad. So I, I need to get to it. I don't even know what it's about really. I think it's I, I think all. I think it's just a retelling of Snow White is it? No, I don't know. 
I have no idea what it's about, but with this beautiful cover and me loving villains and everything like... I love queens and I love dark, so the shadow queen and the black apple. I'm drawn to it so much. I need to read it. Next I want to set potions and for that I need to read a, a book with a color in the name and for that I'm going to be reading Ramona Blue. I am doing a format where I have booktubers or I had at the beginning of the year booktubers recommend me books that I need to read and this was recommended by Julia Sapphire. So thank you for the recommendation. I don't know much about it, just that Julia wants me to read it, so I will. Um, I think this is a love story so more of a contemporary and this is what I need in between all like these fantasies. Other than that, um, if a book tour recommends me something, I'm not looking into it much. I just go and read it and let myself be surprised. I think sometimes managing expectations is the best to do because like so many times when I've been anticipating a chapter in a book or a certain like plot twist in a book and because it was so hyped and it doesn't even need to be hyped, just the knowledge that chapter X is going to be emotional, I just anticipated too much so I try not to know too much about a book before diving in when it's been recommended to me. The next challenge is to read something with a male lead and for that I will be reading Now I Rise even though technically we're following Vlad Dracul, which is Lara, who is a female character. We're also following the brother Radu. I hope that they continue to be both like the main characters. And so we have a male lead in this. And this is the second book in the series that I told you about, the End of Darkness series, and I can't wait to finish the series up. The third challenge in Potions is to read a book with more than 350 pages. And for that, I'm going to read another NetGalley arc, and that is Ignite the Stars. The only thing that I can truly tell you about Ignite the Stars is that somebody said, think Throne of Glass in space, and I was sold. So I don't know, it's a NetGalley arc, I don't know what's coming, I don't know what to expect, but after that I just needed to read it. I'll let you know in my wrap up how it went, if I get to it, with all those books on the list. We're coming to the last class that I want to sit, and that is a history of magic. For the first challenge I have to read a book that could be from the Hogwarts Library, and for that I'm going to be reading Queen of Shadows simply because I need to catch up on my Throne of Glass series. I think a title Queen of Shadows could totally be in the Hogwarts library. Come on. I mean, maybe not this cover, maybe what's underneath, but because this is like an old library book, I can't get underneath. But I think Queen of Shadows is a title that totally could be from a Hogwarts library, right? Just agree with me so I can read it, okay? Moving on. So the next challenge is to read a book that is older than five years and for that I will be reading Clockwork Prince. Again, trying to catch up on my read-alongs. That's it. I'm not going to talk more about this book because if you haven't heard about this, head on over to Emma Books channel and you'll get everything you need to know. And the last book for the nudes is to read a book with, I think, more than with over 400 pages, and for that I'm going to be reading City of Heavenly Fire. Uh, after this, if I get, actually get to all these books, I will have caught up to where I should be in the read-alongs, and again, go to Emma Books channel if you want to know more about that series. This is it for the nudes. I have another read-along that is Books and Jams, which I'm probably not going to re be reading because I have already so much on my plate here and I don't own the physical copy and it's adult um, like fiction that I'm not into right now and that is I um, for the Books and Jams read-along um, I Let You Go. And then the Hogwarts Running Club Book Club has picked a book that sounds really interesting but I'm not really in the mood for it right now and that is We Were the Lucky Ones. It's more of a um, a Second World War, a Jewish like family survivor kind of his uh, kind of story. I'm um, not really in the mood for that right now, so I'm most likely not going to be reading that. And I'm just waiting for the information on what the book explosion book of the month is. Maybe by the time the editing on this video is done and I post this video, um, it's already out, and I might be like changing something up. But I need to read all this. I can't change anything up. It's too much, is it? I have a week off, so I might be reading more, 
than I read during the last three months. I came to a total of 7,946 pages, which comes to 256 pages that I would that I would need to read every single day in the month of August. And that is so not gonna happen because I have three weeks where I'm fully working. So, mm -mm. yeah, but I don't know what I'm gonna skip yet. I don't know, but this is my plan. I like to make this plan. I love my ambitious plan. I know it's not gonna happen. I don't care. Well, I do care because I wanna read them all, but I don't feel pressured by it in a bad way. I love the pressure, I love the ambition, I love the planning, so I feel totally good <laughs> with this overly ambitious plan. And let's see where I'm gonna get. If you haven't done so so far, go ahead and over to my giveaway. I always give away a lot of awesome things that are from like the bookish subscription boxes, things that I don't need, things that are collecting dust, double copies or books that I don't need anymore because I read them and I usually give them away. I don't keep a lot of books around. Um, so I give a lot of things away and you should definitely check out my giveaway because there's always, always something awesome to win. I promise you. And before you go head on over, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until then, wish me luck with my nudes. I am really looking forward to seeing all your nudes reading goals and TBR, so yeah, I'm really excited. The owls were so much fun, I read so much, I am very, very hopeful that August is going to be another awesome reading month simply for the nudes, because of the nudes. I don't even know what to do in between August and I think next April when we're doing the owls again, and I know that Book Roast has already promised a revamped, improved readathon. I don't know what to do without it. Well, probably do other readathons, right? All right, enough for now. I'll let you get to the reading or to looking at my giveaway. Until then, see you soon. Bye!